Hello everyone and welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an overview on this innovative new product from WD. This is the WD Black Squared Dual Drive, which combines both an SSD as well as a mechanical spinning hard drive into the same device. We'll start off with a closer look at the retail box and this is a pretty premium item from Western Digital so you can see they've uh, put a little bit of extra effort into the retail packaging. It's got kind of a black sheen. This is Black Squared. You might sometimes see it listed as Black 2. Uh, of course, just depending on the type of font you're using and whatever, if, if you have the ability to put superscript or the little squared symbol there. Uh, but a dual drive, uh, as I mentioned a little bit in the intro, means it's got uh, both drives in the same unit. Now, a couple things to bear in mind about this drive. It's a 2.5 uh, inch uh, form factor drive, uh, and it does, uh, or it is intended to be used primarily in laptop configurations. Um, but you do need a 9.5 millimeter Z height uh, or space in your laptop for that type of drive. Uh, you got a bit of uh, drive information down here at the bottom, so there you can see the capacity. You get a 120 gigabyte SSD and a one terabyte hard drive. This is not necessarily a, uh, say, hybrid drive, whereas it's using the SSD for caching. You actually get a distinct separate drive that's 120 gigs for the SSD, and then a distinct separate drive for the hard drive as well. Uh, and you can access both of them and use both of them, and you only need one single serial ATA connection for both. System requirements, um, you do need the supplied software from uh, WD, and they do give you a little USB key I'll show you inside that will direct you straight to the website to download it. It's compatible with Windows 8.1, Windows 8. Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP 32-bit, uh, as well as 64-bit uh, for those other operating systems. And uh, do bear in mind, this is not currently Mac compatible, so uh, this is only made for uh, Windows-based PCs at this time. Uh, the model number is listed there on the right. Do also bear in mind that RAID configurations are not supported with this drive, and you do get a five-year limited warranty, as you do with uh, most WD Black drives, or pretty much all of them, at least the ones that I'm currently aware of. Uh, inside the box, well, we have an outer sleeve with an inner box, a bit of a magnet down there at the bottom to raise the flap. You get the black square dual drive uh, logo and some sort of glossy embossed gold, gold leaf type writing. Uh, the first little tray in here uh, has your key on it. So this is a fairly large key, but basically it's just a little USB stick down at that end. Uh, this is not a storage USB key. Once again, you just plug this into your system. Uh, it's going to run a, a little script and it will pop up the web page uh, for, for to download the drive. You can also go uh, directly, I'm sorry, to download the driver and the, the software that helps you set up. Uh, you can go straight to the Western Digital website to access that as well. This is just more of a little bit of a shortcut and uh, also kind of gives you the idea that you're starting up your engines, of course. Uh, you get the WD Black Squared Dual Drive Quick Install Guide. And you look and it says quick, and then you look and you're like, wow, that's pretty thick for a quick install guide. That's really just because they have all the languages in the world that you could possibly include in an install guide. The actual install guide is that, two pages. That's the English portion. So don't be uh, deterred by the thickness of this guide. Um, they are just including lots and lots of different languages since WD is a global company. Uh, but this will give you some information such as accessing online support, some information about the drive itself, and going through your uh, installation and uh, possibly using the software to clone. Uh, they do recommend a clean install of your operating system um, when using this drive that's recommended by WD, although you can use the software to clone as well. But uh, I like clean installs, generally speaking. You get a better experience for that. Uh, here's your technical support and limited warranty. So if you need to contact WD, and uh, the warranty, once again, is five years. Here's the drive and its protective uh, electromagnetic uh, baggie. And lastly, they've given you this little item, which I was actually pretty happy on because I, I probably connect external drives to my computer far too often. But this is actually a USB 3.0 serial ATA adapter which is a pr pretty premium item, I think, as, as just kind of an add-on. So uh, as you can see, basic serial ATA power and data on the one side, USB 3.0 plug on the other. So if you, if you have USB 3.0, you're going to get much, much faster transfer speeds than you would if you were plugging uh, a drive-in with USB 2.0. Um, since this is a uh, standard serial ATA interface, you can plug in a, an SSD or a hard drive or anything like that if you want to get an external connection going. Or, of course, if you want to plug in your uh, black square drive, you can plug that in externally 
rather than internally if you want to do it that way. Um, and then if you're plugging in USB 3, uh, that has additional power as compared to USB 2. But you can still plug this into a USB 2 port since they're backwards compatible. And then it's got this little extra guy um, in case that USB 2.0 port isn't providing enough juice to power up a uh, mechanical drive, for example. You can plug in that other one that should give you, give you enough power. And then there's the other end. And there's a blue sticker, which is, which is cool. Part number, of course, as well. Onto the drive itself. Drives these days typically come with a, a bit of protective packaging. This one is no different. So after removing it from that, you have some silica gel, which you shouldn't eat no matter how much you want to. Uh, and then the drive itself. Now, I really impressed, again, just with kind of the look of this drive. It's pretty cool. The top of it that we're looking at right now is both sort of the uh, the looky-looky the area of the drive with the WD Black Squared logo, but it's also a PCB. So functionally speaking, as you can see when it catches the light there, there are traces going on right here, and that is actually the SSD portion of the drive. So um, if you were installing this, say, in... Uh, um, uh, desktop computer, which is probably going to be going to be rare given the configuration here. This is again geared more towards people who are looking to upgrade uh, a laptop. But I could see this being used in a small form factor machine, for example, or something where you have limited serial ATA ports um, and you wanted to add on an SSD, but also give yourself a fair amount of mechanical storage as well. So flipping around here, as we can see, uh, pretty standard 2.5 uh, inch form factor layout. So you have uh, both the side mounting screws as well as the bottom mounting screws. A lot more information available there in the bottom, but you can see part of the elements of the mechanical drive itself, such as the uh, PCB uh, for it over there. Mechan the mechanical drive portion is a 5400 RPM, one terabyte drive. It's very similar to a WD Blue Slim drive. Um, and then apart from that, you can see, of course, uh, FCC drive information, uh, manufacturer date and serial number, and that sort of stuff over on that side. Um, but flipping it back, oh, actually, I should, I should flip it to this side. Um, so here's, here's the question that a lot of you have probably had in your minds this whole time, which is, if I plug this drive in via this interface, which is standard serial ATA, 6 gigabit per second, uh, what's going, what am I going to see when I actually load this drive up uh, in the operating system? The answer is, you will see the SSD. Uh, that is what uh, is recognized first. Um, that is what the operating system will see. That is what you will see if you're installing a fresh uh, copy of, say, Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 onto this drive. It will recognize the SSD. You can go ahead and do your installation on that. And then there's a quick procedure that you do, uh, particularly with the help of that little included USB key uh, to download the software that initializes the mechanical portion of the drive. Uh, and then that will pop up in your operating system as well. And then you can go ahead and use that. And then both of them appear um, within your uh, operating system as two distinct drives. Um, WD, once again, is recommending that you go ahead and uh, do a fresh, clean install of your operating system onto the SSD portion of this drive. That's where you're going to get the best uh, performance. However, the included software does have a cloning functionality, so you can clone an existing operating system onto the drive if you would prefer to do that. Uh, again, 9.5 millimeter Z height, so that is the uh, height this way, top to bottom. And uh, particularly if you are uh, thinking about installing this in, say, an Ultrabook or something like that, you might be limited when it comes to the form factor. Um, the slimmer drives can sometimes use uh, MSATA or, say, 7 millimeter Z height, 2.5 inch drives. So m double check, make sure you've got the space. If you do, then you can basically fit two drives in one spot. Uh, the SSD portion, um, while I'm at it, although you can't really see much of it, and I'm not going to be doing a disassembly of this today because I don't want to break it, um, but the SSD portion, once again, is 120 gigabytes. It's got a special controller that uh, WD co-designed, uh, and then uh, you basically get two 64 gigabyte NAND packages in there as well as a DRAM package for caching. Uh, performance you should expect is going to be um, in the 350 megabytes per second range for reads, and uh, according to some reviews I've read online, it can actually go beyond that, and for writes, about 140 megabytes per second. So um, some, uh, some pretty decent SSD performance there on top of the hard drive, and uh, again, this is really going to be uh, best used in a situation where you have a smaller laptop or something where uh, you already have an older mechanical drive in there, but you really want to get the SSD performance, but you don't have the space, and you can again fit both of these in that same drive, and uh, or in that same drive space, 
and uh, you only need that one serial ATA connection. Um, in case you are interested in some more details on uh, the installation process for this, we will be doing an installation demo video. It's not available as of the filming of this video, but it should be available soon. So um, if we're not linking to that, you can go ahead and check our Newegg TV YouTube channel. And then uh, apart from that, essentially you have your uh, two drives, the 120 gigabyte SSD and the one terabyte hard drive. And that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Once again, we have been taking a closer look at the WD Black Squared Dual Drive. Once again, we will be doing an installation demo of this product, so if you're interested in that, you can check it out. It is available on our Newegg TV YouTube channel, or at least it will be soon if it's not available right now. But thank you very, very much for watching this video. Uh, if you'd like to see more just like it, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you would like to leave me some feedback or perhaps a thumbs up or a thumbs down, go ahead and do so down in the feedback section down below, and we'll see you next time.